The first time the I-80 drop was hit was in 1992, and it's literally 100 yards from Interstate 80. So one day we, uh, you know, we parked the cars up on top of Boreal and we walked down and the train just, it panned out to be everything that we had hoped it would be. That day it was Sean Farmer, my brother Dave, and Morgan LaFonte. And all three of them hit it and Dave just happened to be the first guy that actually landed. So that was pretty cool. And then that kind of set up the arena for the next people to come in and start doing, you know, big moves off it. In 1995, Jim Rippey did a big backside three off the thing and stomped it. And that was kind of the first spin off the I-80 drop. By today's standard, that might be considered easy, but looking back and snowboarding, you know, it was just starting to really happen. One time I was there with Jeremy Jones, Mark Kukowski, and Aero Etela. And Jeremy was actually just walking out to the edge to look over. And he was on maybe a 15 degree slope and the thing avied. And it went really big. It was a wake up call just being that we had been there so many times and maybe we had almost kind of let our guard down. Oh, it's just the I-80 drop that's right off the highway and it almost gives you this false sense of security. The thing slid on Dave Subnuski pretty substantially one time. The, right as he comes over the crest of it, the whole thing rips. Pretty good size fracture. And then I remember another time when I was there with Tom Day, and I came in and the same thing, same run, same exact thing. I came in, I came in on my heels, and the thing cracked as soon as I went to my toes. Big mistake. The thing just sucked me into it. I disappeared into a huge white cloud of snow. I went just right through the rock bound with the avalanche, and I remember thinking to myself, I'm going through rocks right now. The avalanche flushed out, and it was just the whole entire valley was just filled up with cold smoke. And I heard Tom Day go, Dave! And I just answered back, I'm okay. And I was just sitting there on top of all the deposition pile at the base. And it was, it was definitely a big eye opener to, to show how, how avalanche prone that thing is. Who knows what the future holds for kids nowadays. They're gonna do the, the gnarliest tricks off it ever and they're gonna do it with style and they're gonna land it. It'll be really cool to see what the future holds for the I-80 drop. about snowboarding and that's what's cool about these features even though they get hit a lot it's cool to see the progression 